In this example, we will continue describing um, our sets. For this particular one, it's a it's a large, well-defined set, but we're still going to use our three methods of the set builder notation, the raster method, and a word description. So for the set builder notation, again, we always describe or always label the uh, set using a capital letter. I'm going to use the capital letter C to label this set for uh, for the word counties. And then I have to describe what's in the set. And of course, we always use our curly brace here to show our set. And then I label the elements within that set. And I'm just going to label this as T. Again, you could label it anything you want, but uh, I chose T. Then I have to describe um, the elements. And we use that first by going ahead and making this vertical bar. Again, that vertical bar stands for such that or given that. And then I go ahead and I describe what the elements are. So such that or given that T is a county of Minnesota. Again, set builder notation is the most formal uh, way of describing a set. So this is set C is the set of all elements T, given that T is a county of Minnesota. For B, for the raster method, again, just for clarity, I already have it listed here. And a couple of things that I want to point out, as you can see, I do have the set labeled as, uh, as uh, set C. We do have our curly braces here. But notice this right here. This is an ellipsis. And this is a, this is a large set. There are 87 counties in Minnesota. Now, in the raster method, you could go ahead and you can list all 87 if you want to, but there is a bit of a shorthand way of doing it, and that is with using this ellipses. But before we use an ellipses, we have to show a pattern that's developing, and then this ellipses means that that pattern uh, continues. So the pattern that's shown here is an alphabetical order of all the counties of Minnesota. So now that that has been established, that means this ellipses here means that that pattern continues and finally concludes with the last county, the last uh, alphabetical order county, which is yellow medicine, and it concludes with that. So we can use this ellipses to help us define. Um, so even though we don't see each and every single one because we're using the ellipses here, it is implied that it's there. And then finally, we have our word description. And again, we'll just say set C is the set of counties of Minnesota. And there we go.